One dash six. It says to calculate the perimeter of the figure on the coordinate plane, as well as calculating the area of the figure on the coordinate plane. This is a very complex object, so there are multiple steps, multiple problems. A asks us to find the perimeter of ABD. So ABD, I'm going to try to fill it in here, is this area here, okay? All right, so if you see, that's ABD, okay? If we want to find the area, we have to add up all those pieces. So on the left-hand side, let's count one, two, three, four, five. So this is five. And what about the bottom? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have that. The only issue is we have to find DA, okay? We don't know what the line segment of the DA is, but we know that this is a right triangle, okay? So this is like C, okay? So we can write this as just C. So C is equal to, we can do the uh, distance formula. So the square root of A squared plus B squared. We know that A squared is 6 because we can just write A equals to 6 and B equals to 5. We can do that. So 6 squared plus 5 squared. And this gets us the square root of 61. That's what your C is. Okay. C equals the square root of 61. If we want to find the perimeter, we add all the sides together. So we add, so the perimeter is just your A side plus your B side plus your C side. So that is your six plus five plus square root 61. Six plus five is 11. Then you can't really add this rational number together. So this would just be your answer, 11 plus radical 61 that would be your full perimeter okay next you want to find the perimeter of uh, BCD so right here I think this is B C right and is this the C part yep and D right this part we we have the first one which is just six but we want to find this length here, okay? We're missing this length here. We don't know what this is, okay? But we can do, uh, we can count though. We could make a triangle. So take a look. One, two, three, four. Do you see how it's four here? One, two, three. So it really looks like this, okay? This is four, this is three, and you don't know what this piece is. I'm gonna label that C, okay? I can use Pythagorean theorem for this. So C squared is equal to B squared plus A squared, okay? So C is just equal to what we wrote before, the square root of B squared plus A squared. So we plug in the values, three squared plus four squared. That is nine plus 16, which is 25. So we can say C is equal to just five. So this value here is five, okay? If we do this again for the other side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Notice this triangle is also four comma three, okay? And we did it from before. If we do that and find that value of C, we know that it has to be equal to five because that's what happened on this other side. Now we can add all those together. So the perimeter is just A plus B plus C. Our A here was six. Okay, that was the red part. Then we add the five, then we add the other five. That gets us what? 16 for the perimeter of B, C, D. Together to find the entire thing, you have to add the blue part plus the no, you have to add all the sides together. So we just add them. So you have P is equal to, we have the blue part, which is your P is equal to 11 plus square root 61. We're gonna add that with the other P, which is 16. We're gonna add those two. So let me just add, have the add symbol here. 
erase this here and erase this here. This is going to get us the entire quadrilateral. All right. And this is going to get us the perimeter total. P total is equal to what's 11 plus 16? 27. You can't really add that square root 61. So it's 27 plus the square root of 61. All right, so let's find the area now. The area is slightly easier because all you need for the area is one half base times height. Looking at the blue object, okay? The height for the blue object is the uh, five and the base is six. So we can just write one half times five times six. That's the area. So doing that, it is 5 times 6 is 30, times 1 half is 15. So the area for that blue part is 15. Okay. All right. Let's look at that red part. The, again, the formula is the same, 1 half base times height. So the base is 6, so we know the base is 6. Do you see the base here, which is 6? The height is given by how high is it. So we count, it's actually four, okay? Plug it in, one half times six times four. That four gets us what area? So six times four is 24 times one half, which is just 12. So there you go. So if you wanna find the total area, okay, area total, was equal to the blue part, the area of the blue part, plus we're gonna add the area of the red part, which is the bottom one, okay? So we had 15 plus 12, so we can write it as 27 is your area total of the entire thing. So there you go. That is how you find the area for the bottom, and then the top part, ABC, is finding the perimeter, and it required us to use the distance formula to find the missing diagonal lengths.